Hi everybody. Um, so this is the video that goes along with your narrative writing PowerPoint. So just like last week and the week before, you don't really need to be watching this video, just listening. So now that you've pressed play on this video, if you could go to the PowerPoint and run through the PowerPoint while I'm um, guiding you through it by talking. So under Tuesday, it says, what did you do last week? So um, hopefully these are the things that you got through last week. Um, and if you didn't, then just pause right here so you can complete these things first because you won't really be able to write your essay until you've um, done these things. So you picked a topic to write about. Um, you answer those pre-writing questions. You planned your story on a plot diagram, that mountain, and then you wrote your hook. And that was it. And then we stopped there. So now we're going to move on to write more of the essay. Um, and I have written my essay as a sample. Um, so we're going to go through the essay piece by piece. So head to the next slide. So now you're going to write the rest of your intro. So last week you wrote the hook, but now you need to add the thesis. So here is my hook, which actually, if you remember from reading it last week, I changed it, uh, which as I was just writing my essay, I realized I didn't really like it. So maybe you might notice the same thing when you get to writing, uh, the, writing your essay. So here's my hook. The day began like any other day. However, it turned into a day I'll never forget. So that was my hook from last week. And now I need to add the thesis, which is the last part of my intro paragraph. Um, and it leads into the rest of my story. Um, he, on the next slide is my plot diagram, just as a reminder. Um, just head to the next one, the next slide that says Miss Lane's sample. So here is my intro now. The day began like any other day. However, it turned into the day I'll never forget. I was on my way to my parents' apartment to have lunch with them, which was a regular occurrence during my summer break. As I parked my car and got ready to head into their place, I received a text that quickly turned me from feeling calm to feeling anxious. So that's my intro. I haven't given too much detail, um, but yeah, so you, you know that something is going to happen that makes us, me feel anxious. Um, so you can end there. You can stop the lesson there. Um, if you would like to just continue, then just keep listening. So... Either you're still going or today is now Wednesday and you've started the next lesson. So now you're writing the body of your essay. So don't forget um, that um, each paragraph in your essay is sort of like a mini thought or a different mini event that happened in the story. Um, and don't forget to include transitional phrases at the end of each paragraph to move you into the next paragraph. So in the next one, you'll see um, my example. So I'm not going to read it out loud to you. This is um, after I'm done talking, I would, I'm going to ask you to pause so that you can read through it. So the intro here is what I just read on the last page. So that's the same thing. Then here is my body. So you'll notice that I've used the same color for two lines. So in the intro, the last line is highlighted in yellow and the first line is highlighted in yellow. That's because they're somewhat connected. Then you'll see the last paragraph has a green and the next paragraph starts with green. That's because they're also connected. Then you'll see the next paragraph ends in purple and the next one starts in purple. They're also connected. And then the next one ends in gray and starts in gray. So that's kind of how um, a narrative essay works. Um, instead of saying, you know, next, then, um, the next thing that happened, the third thing that happened, like, which can get a little bit repetitive and not very exciting. Um, you use phrases that end at the end of a paragraph that, um, transition you into the next paragraph. So pause the video right here and have a read through this essay. Okay. So now that you're done reading the essay, that is the end of Wednesday's lesson. Um, Thursday, which would be tomorrow, there's no new lesson. It's just continuing to write your essay. So you don't need to, um, finish this all in one day. You could do it Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. And then that is the end of the lesson. And then on Friday. So if today is Friday, you're starting, um, your last, uh, part of the essay, you're writing your, um, 
conclusion. So here is my sample. So just pause here and have a read. Okay, so now that you've finished reading it, um, see if you can write a conclusion for your essay. Remember, you're not going to be adding a ton of new detail into your conclusion um, because that would be for the body. The conclusion is, is um, summing up your uh, story and deciding, remember those three types of conclusions. Are you predicting something? Are you, is there a moral to the end of the story? Like, did you learn something? Um, or, oh, what was the last one? Oh, re uh, revelation. Okay. So this one for me is a bit of like a revelation. I'm, I'm, I'm looking back on the, on the event and thinking about how important it is. Okay. And then that is the end. And then the last slide just talks about what we'll do next week. We'll, we'll think about um, how to improve your essay even more because this right here is your rough copy that you worked on this week. Okay, so feel free to stop the video now and let me know if you need any help with your essay.